Hey, hey everyone, this is Jose with a new video today. We have a Rondo Dodge Cheater here that the conveyor belts are not spinning. Everything works except the conveyor belts. Um, to be honest, this is my first time opening a Rondo Dodge Cheater. And we'll see where it goes, if I can find the issue on this Rondo. It's a really nice machine. They're nice and clean. I guess to get access to the rollers for the conveyor, I had to open the opposite side. As there is nothing here that dictates otherwise. So, I'm gonna have to go open the other side and see what we can find. So, first Rondo the shitter that I'm trying to figure out why these conveyors are not spinning. So, we'll see where this take, take us. Okay guys, we have access to at least a little bit to see the gears. Uh, we still haven't been able to get full access. I guess this cover needs to come off. And I already began by removing the handle, the adjuster for the rollers. So as you guys can see, there is uh, this hole here. And what is holding it is uh, a roll pin. That you not that you need to get out in order to get the handle out. So we now will try to get access to the interior, the gears. This panel somehow needs to come off, and that's my next step. This is my next next assignment: getting this panel out and check those rollers. I mean those gears and see what's going on. So there we go. So what I'm trying to figure out right now what is holding this cover in place. No screws or bolts like the other panel. That one has four screws, this one doesn't have nothing. So I guess it just clip on somehow is might have some clips that is holding it in place so i'll test this first i don't want to damage the cover or break it so i'll show you guys if it is clips that is holding this cover all right guys we have found the bolts that is holding this cover one and a second one on the opposite side. They are hidden with these little two um, covers. So one L bolt and a second one on the opposite side. So it's not clip on, it has two bolts that is holding it in place. So let's get it out. All right, not bad for our first time opening a Rondo Dodge Cheater. This is the model, let's see. It's a Rondo, I guess Dodge, I don't, I don't think that's Dodge. So Dodge SS0616. I'm sorry, I was pointing the wrong <laughs> SS0616. So again, the cover has two bolts from the inside. And just like that, first time opening around the door sheeter has take me, taken me 20 minutes, 25 minutes to figure it out. And I am already seeing the problems with this sheeter. Ta-da! Some broken gears, 
Put it right there. I guess the remaining gears will be inside here. Let's see it right here. So the broken piece. We have found our problem with this cheater. Now we need to find out if we can get parts for this rounded the cheater. Again, we have expertise on machinery. And for someone that has that type of expertise, sometimes it will be hard to figure out these machines. Other times will be much easier. Like this one, it took me long to find the problem. So now we just proceed to the next step, which would be finding all the damaged parts and other then and get the ship back into production. So this is a short video on a brand new Dutch heater. Opening opening and service it for the first time. So for myself personally my first rondo that I'm doing so thank you for watching this video we will come with the second video once this we'll see if we make a second video once we fix this round and replace all these gears if not this will be the only one the only video that i'll make on this round but we'll see if we make a second video getting it back together and replacing the damaged gears thank you for watching have a wonderful day guys thank you see you next time